Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to do a typical morning routine. Yes, in one of my previous videos I did emphasize the importance of trying to keep up with exercise. So persons have been asking me, well, where is the exercise example? You're telling us to work out and you're not showing us what to do. So I'll be showing you a typical routine that I do and of course you can tweak it to match your pace you can tweak it to match your abilities. It's just important for you to get in at least 10 minutes of exercise a day because we are living in stressful times and believe it or not, exercise helps to reduce stress. You know, it releases what's called endorphins, which are your happy chemicals. It helps to take away all that negative energy and gets you feeling happy like, hello world, I'm ready for you. So. I'm going to be showing you just a little bit of stuff that I do in the mornings or in the afternoons or in the evenings. Whatever time you are able to do exercise, it's just good to get some exercise in. So the next time you're feeling down, you're feeling overwhelmed, you're feeling stressed, just get up and get exercise in. It does help. Let me show you what I start off with. Okay. So I like to start off with deep breathing exercises. What you're going to do is ensure that you place one leg in front of the other and we're going to be taking in a deep breath. As you're taking that deep breath, you're going to find yourself moving forward on your tippy toes. Then you're going to hold that deep breath, then slowly release and you're going to end with your weight on the back leg. So this is an example. One more time. And I'll repeat that for at least two times or three times so I can do that for about five times. And what that does is it gets you into the rhythm. Gets your body ready for what you're gonna be doing next. Then I also like to do some stretching exercises. For this one, what you do is ensure that your legs are apart and firm. Then I'm going to suck my tummy in and move from the left to the right to the left. And this is one rotation. So I'm going to do at least 10 of those while having my tummy tucked in. Ready? I don't know how well you're hearing but I definitely heard my spine my bones in my back cracking and that's good because it means that you're mobilizing your joints then legs apart and we're gonna do some stretching so I'm gonna try to use my right hand to touch my left toe reverse and do my left hand to my right toe and I'll do that for about 10 tries Then you can take a breath. We're gonna do some squats. Now you can just do regular squats if you're starting off. You don't wanna stress your body or you can do them using weights. These are both 10 pound weights. I'd start off using two pound weights because I don't even know if I can keep 10 pound weights doing this. I usually use like three pounds or so. But let's see if I'm up to the challenge today. These are 10 pound weights and we're going to do 10 squats. Legs apart so you're stable and we're going to do deep squats. And these are 10 pounds each, so I just squatted with 20, 20 pounds, guys. Okay, shake it off, guys. Shake it off. Because now we're going to get some cardio. I can already feel myself pumping. We're going to do like what? 30 jumping jacks to start off, but you can do 50 if you can take it. Okay, so now that 
you're tired, we should go on the floor. I'm going to show you to do some floor exercises. Okay, so this one's going to help to stretch your lower back and also help to work out your legs. Start off with your legs like this and we're going to push our butt up in the air until we're even. Like this, hold it a bit, then come back down. Notice when you're up, you're going to feel like you're vibrating because your body's not used to it, but that's okay. You do this enough, then your body's going to be used to it. So we do at least 10 of these. Now you're going to move your legs apart and you're going to push your head between like this. And you do that for a little bit to help to mobilize your back again. Okay, now this exercise Oops, need to move these. I'm going to use my legs and try to bring them up forward. Think that's easy? Let's take it up a notch. I'm going to use this ball, place it between my legs, then I'm going to do the same thing. Ready? Let's go. And you continue like that. I can't go any further. <laughs> Okay, so now that you've stressed out your body, you're going to stretch your back a little bit, doing that same exercise again. Okay. Okay, so for this exercise, we're going to be on all fours and we're going to be kicking backwards. So. Ready? Go up as high as you can. Do at least 10 of these. This is also straightening your legs and working out your butt muscle. Switching legs. Okay, you've done well. Let's continue. Now we're going to use this ball again. And this time, we're going to try to squeeze the ball as tight as we can with our legs. But with your bent legs, you're going to bring them forward toward your face. Try to see if you can kiss the ball. Not bending your neck too much, but rather allow your legs to do the work. Are you ready? Good now, job. this stretch I'm going to show you is really good for your back and it's also kind of core threatening. So what you want to do is you want to try to put your waist down on the ground but your back up like this so you have this nice arch, right? Then you're going to come back like this and you're going to stretch your hands forward and that's stretching your lower back and then watch me. I'm going to 
do something like this and I'm gonna go back to where I'm coming from hold it for 10 then I'm gonna go back again and stretch And you can do that for a couple times. Well, now you're gonna feel it in your body. Thing is to not stop moving until you're done exercise. So even if it's small movement, we're gonna be twisting our waist once more. Okay, so we're gonna pretend like we're dribbling a ball. And now that you feel like you can't even go any further. We're gonna end with some more stretches. Down to the toes again. Up in the air, backwards, down to the toes. Up in the air, backwards, down to the toes and that's it guys as I said you can do it to match your own pace speed it up slow it down just go for about 10 minutes be consistent with this every day and you'll feel much better thanks for watching again please remember to like and subscribe and stay tuned to my channel too, where you can get more amazing tips and tricks for your home